everybody, Charlene here, and welcome to week two of my incredible weight loss journey. Now, I have some good news, and I have some bad news. It's bad news is I didn't do as well with my goals for last week as I hoped I would. Um, tracking, I did not track everything. I tracked a lot, but I didn't track everything that went into my mouth. So, you know, towards the end of the day, um, usually every day I would get lazy and I'd be like, oh, I really don't want to look up um, my points. I don't feel like it. I'm going to save it till tomorrow. So, despite all my determination, um, some of my past laziness is, actually a lot of my past laziness is still a problem. And sometimes I didn't even want to know how many points I'd eaten. Like, it's been really hot here. It's been averaging in the triple digits. So I, you know, Saturday I just went down to Baskin Robbins and had some ice cream. And I was like, I don't even want to know how many points I put away. So yeah, it, Ignorance is bliss. So I didn't do as well as I'd hoped on the tracking. Uh, fitness, I did, I, my goal was to go to, to the gym twice uh, last week and two extra karate classes three times. Well, what I didn't count on is I'm in college uh, right now taking classes to earn an early childhood education certificate. And what I didn't count on when I made my fitness goals for last week was um, the two essays that I had due yesterday being a lot longer, uh, taking a lot longer to complete than I had thought. And by Thursday I was like, I'm going to need every um, extra minute I can get. So uh, yeah, um, exercise was pretty much cut from my schedule um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, but I did go to two extra karate classes and I was at the gym once. And as for uh, cutting back my soda, I did that, but instead of just limiting myself to two uh, bottles of soda, I uh, into, um, drank two bottles of soda and one small cup of soda at uh, Arby's because I really needed the extra caffeine to wake up my brain because I was really feeling sluggish. And down them all in one day, obviously. They were spread out, but yeah, I'd hit my limit and I'm, I was like, oh, my brain, I need the caffeine to wake me up and I don't like coffee. Uh, give me a small soda, just a small soda, a little cup of Mountain Dew, just I was able to get through the rest of my day, so anyway, that's the bad news. Now on to the good news. The good news is, though I didn't quite meet uh, my goals, I did uh, up my exercise um, significantly and decreased not only my soda intake, but my junk food intake as well, so that was down a lot from what I usually eat. And I've been incorporating more uh, fruits, vegetables, and dairy into um, into my diet. And I even tried uh, some new healthier dishes. Uh, I tried a salad, which I found very good. And I tried some tilapia, which, in case you don't know, that's a type of fish. And I've heard that's very good for you. That may be true, but uh, I didn't like it. It just seafood and me. I'm very picky seafood eater, so um, I don't like a lot of it. And I can add uh, tilapia to that list. It was it. My boyfriend liked it, but me, I don't. Yeah, don't give me tilapia. Uh, and uh, thanks to all the healthy choices I did make, 
I have lost two, 2.2 pounds, so, um, yeah, that's a great start to, uh, to the journey here. And I hope to lose as much, if not more, you know, this week. I really need your guys' support, continued support, because one of uh, my personality flaws is that I tend to go into a project like this with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of determination. That's the first time I joined Weight Watchers. I went in with a lot of determination, a lot of zeal, I lost a lot of weight, and then I lost my motivation, gained all that weight back. And I'm worried that for this project it's going to be a lot of the same. I'm going to do great maybe the first couple of weeks, then my motivation is going to peter out, and I'm eventually going to quit long before I reach my 50 pound goal. So what I need, I really need you guys to help keep me motivated and keep me on track. Please put your encouraging uh, words and any weight loss tips in the comments to se in section and let's let's do this thing together. Let's let's you and me help me to shed all this and get rid of Big Fanny. So. I am really looking forward today um, when I can go pants and shorts shopping and have to buy a size smaller instead of size bigger than what I'm currently wearing like I usually do. So yeah, keep the positivity coming and I will report to you next week. Bye!